Hey, what's up, gang? So let's get to the breaking news first. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim just fired very popular manager Joe Madden. You know, they were, I think some of their worst baseball in a long time, and unfortunately he couldn't help them resurrect themselves, right? And this is one of the problems, I think, because you put a manager like that who's obviously got some great managerial skills, and he's good at getting um, teams to overperform, particularly low-market ones, right? And uh, sometimes, you know, folks can say, well, if you can do it with the Rays, imagine what you can do with a big market team, right? Well, it doesn't always work that way. It's just like the money ball thing. Well, if, you know, if Billy Bean can do this money ball with the A's, imagine what he can do with other teams. doesn't always work that way. Different markets, different environments, and all this stuff. So I think that needs to be kept, kept in mind. <clears throat> I think he did his best there with the team. It's an uber-talented team, but it's just not the right ingredients, right? Not the right fit. So and just because they have all that talent up top doesn't mean it's going to, you know, become a... A championship caliber team it just doesn't doesn't work that way. You could have Joe Torre there, Joe McCarthy, Casey Singer. There's no guarantee they're going to lead those guys to the World Series either. So it's unfortunate it happened, but I wish Joe Madden the best and see who the Angels bring in. Now let's pivot over to the Yankees lineup, okay? And then I'll give you the state in Yankees history. <clears throat> Today, first game against Minnesota Twins in a three-game series at in Minnesota. We got DJ LeMahieu leading off, playing second. Jaron Judge in center field, batting second. Um, Anthony Rizzo at th uh, batting third at first base. Giancarlo Stanton's cleaning up, DHing. Um, Josh Donaldson's batting fifth at third base. Aaron Hicks batting sixth in left field. Again, his bat's starting to show little signs of life. Isaiah Kanafalef is batting seventh at shortstop. Jose Trevino at the dish batting eighth. And Joey Gallo batting ninth in right field. And then on the mound is Jamison Tyon. J-Mo, baby, who took a perfect game you know, to the seventh last time. So, um... I went to the eighth actually last time, and uh, unfortunately it didn't happen. But he's been pitching some of his best Yankees baseball that we've ever seen, and uh, he's an important part of this rotation. And he's putting himself in a prime position to line him up for a good extension this offseason because he's also free, one of the Yankees soon to be free agents. So just keep in mind he might be you know, getting a big deal from somebody, maybe even the Yankees. So, but with that said, that's the lineup against the Minnesota Twins. I don't know when Carlos Correa is going to be back yet because <clears throat> he was on the I know COVID IL. Might have been on the aisle for something else as well, but uh, he might miss all or some of this series. But we'll see. Now I'm going to pivot over to this date in Yankees history. 75 years ago to the day, um, June 7th, Dermon Munson was born. Yes. Mr. 1976 MVP, 1970 Rookie of the Year, helped the Yankees win in the World Championship in 77 and 78, one of the one of the one of the most beloved Yankees of all time, particularly at the dish, at the catcher position. He reminds me of like a 70s version of Don Mattingly. He was just an absolute gamer. He was born 75 years ago today. Unfortunately, we lost him in a plane crash. But that, to me, is a more significant day, him, him being born and, and gracing us with some of, those, some of the best Yankee players I've ever seen. So and he's one of them, and he'll always be one of the greatest Yankees of all time. So that's the lineup. That's the breaking news. This date in Yankees history, you get all three, and I'll see you tonight for the recap. Over now.